This is the Dacometer 908. It says so on this shield at the top. The 908 describes the size of the keyboard. 9 because it has 9 rows of keys numbered 1 to 9 and 08 meaning it has 8 columns. The register above the keyboard has one digit extra so it has 9 digits. There were also the models 911 which has 9 rows and 11 columns as well as the 508 and 511. Those had half-sized keyboards, only the keys 1 to 5, and on those you would have to push uh, two keys to enter a number above 5. The half-sized keyboard uh, versions are very similar to, for example, the Context machine, the Context A and B, or the Bell Punch uh, Plus adders. Uh, this version with a larger keyboard is more like the Comptometer or the Burroughs Calculator. The keys on this also show the complementary digits and that allows you to do subtraction and division. Especially the subtraction you can then use these uh, buttons at the top which are uh, carry suppression buttons. It's, uh, stops a carry from occurring from one digit to the next. The uh, 508 and 511 models uh, with a half-sized keyboard they do not have those complementary numbers or the carry suppression buttons because it's too hard to do sub uh, subtraction and division on those anyway. So uh, the way it works is just like a computometer when you press a key the force of pushing down the key uh, immediately adds that number to the register. So I've now added 4. And if I keep pressing the number 5, it keeps adding 5. You can then clear the register by pushing down the clearing lever. The clearing lever stays down until the next time you push a button and when you push that button it pops up and rings the bell. Unfortunately there is, the register is slightly broken on this machine. The third digit and the sixth digit, um, one of the springs is uh, is not working so those two digits don't clear when you uh, pull down the, the clearing lever and also the carry doesn't work properly from, uh, from that digit to the next. Talking about the carry, the mechanism it uses is quite interesting. Um, the, uh, when when a, a number wheel turns it winds up a spring and as soon as it uh, rolls over from 9 to 0 that spring is released causing an axle to turn 360 degrees, one full turn exactly and then there's a, a 10 to 1 gearing ratio that uh, moves the next uh, digit one step along. But that 10 to 1 gearing ratio is done using a, a rather weird uh, eccentric gearing system. I can illustrate it uh, with this uh, lid from my uh, lubrication uh, spray can. If this is the uh, receiving number wheel it has a ring with 10 teeth inside it and then there's a, a nine toothed uh, gear held inside and that is mounted on that uh, rotating axle but it's mounted eccentrically so what happens is when that axle does a full turn that, in, that inner gear it doesn't rotate as much as it, its center moves around 
and its orientation is fixed relative to this number wheel. So what happens is that that gear it um, it moves around once and that causes the outer ring to shift one step. So if you uh, if you look at how the, this this lid is is rotating, it just goes one step as as the inner gear does one small circular orbit. That's because the inner gear has nine teeth, the outer ring on this receiving wheel has ten teeth, so once around it skips one tooth and exactly one tenth of a rotation. So this uh, this decometer is quite rare. It was made in Denmark in around 1950. Let me uh, turn it over so you can see the underside. On the bottom it says, uh, uh, right there it says, uh, Sol Agents Dakarima, Copenhagen, Denmark. Then there's a serial number. The serial numbers start at 5000 and this one is 5348 I think. And then it says uh, manufactured by Rich Müller, Copenhagen. And that last company, Richard Müller, was uh, he was a, a German tool maker who emigrated to Denmark in uh, in the 1890s. And in 1901 he set up this company to to make tools and also the materials to use those tools on. And uh, yeah, in the 1950s they made this machine and the company still exists today. Uh, RMIG it's called now, Richard Müller International Group, and they are specialized in making perforated metal sheeting. The other company, Dakarima, that was an office supply company and they seem to have disappeared in the mid-1970s. So this machine is quite rare. It, they, these, these machines were only made between 1947 and maybe 1955. And at first they had a Bakelite uh, casing. Uh, this one is made of steel. That's uh, painted uh, brown, uh, wrinkle paint. And uh, yeah, the, the version with the larger keyboard are much rarer than the uh, small keyboard, the half sized keyboard ones. And uh, yeah, I think uh, these, uh, these 908s were only made until about 1952 or so. Anyway, so that's the uh, Dacometer 908. Thank you for watching.